Yes, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Welcome to Science Flight Simulation. Join me as we go on a flight from the main international airport in Science World of Blue and head over and try and navigate our way between the lakes onto the approach and into Club Runway. We're now sitting at the runway of Maine. Now, Club Runway, if I remember correctly, is much shorter. Um... And I haven't been there in decades. So, um, it's a north-south runway. Uh, so, let me just bring in, do I get to bring in the, uh, I can bring in the mouse. Yeah, so we're here, obviously. We know we're beacon ahead. So, we could fly along, turn, and up into club. Now, each one of these squares is 16 miles. So, 16. So, I don't know how long a journey that's going to be. Let's let's just put a let's just let's just let's just see what happens, shall we? Right then, so we're taking off so uh, flaps down. So I think is F. There we go. I just need to check I can remember what flaps up is and it's D. Uh, so we'll see how we're getting on here. It's just Take a time, bring the flaps down. We are fueled up. We're gonna, ch we'll, we'll keep our beacon to our straight ahead in the wrong way in case we need to do circuit landing, but full flaps down, ready for takeoff. Bring the power up. I'll have to make my own engine noises. Let's give us full power. Along the edge of the runway, 60, 70, no, this is starting to bounce. A little bit of back pressure on the stick. And we have altitude. 100 feet, as you can see on the RA, the radar altimeter. Bring our landing gear up. Let's not put our nose too high in the sky. Otherwise, we shall stall. Remember how delightfully sluggish the Scion Flight Sim is. Very easy to get away with you. So we don't want to be climbing too much more than that. Okay, so we can start bringing our flaps up now. Very the thing I remember, Sound Flight Simulator was quite a slow, it's quite a deliberate flight simulator as we're going on here. So there we go. So we're climbing at about a thousand feet a minute. We are at eleven hundred feet. We're passing over the beacon now. We'll keep it. We've got quite a hefty amount of climb going on. That's fine. Let's take us up to ooh, what feels what feels about right. I reckon we can take us up to about five, maybe three and a half though. Three and a half thousand feet. We can probably trim back a little bit of the power now. Actually, that'll help keep this. Climb at a steady pace. We're the only other flight in the sky, so we can just keep an eye. There's a, one of the lakes just off the nose to the left. And we're making about 190 knots. Yep, it's as exciting as the flight. The, the, the cover does look so exciting, doesn't it? Look at that end, like it's, it's got the runway out. Thing is, if you actually look at that, you know, once you once you take the jaunty angle off, you realise you know that's a terrible approach that that pilot's doing. <laughs> that's a terrible approach. Three and a half there. Uh, you know what? I'm just let's go to four. 
Let's go to four and just give ourselves a little bit of extra. Trim the power back out to seventy percent. Start popping us into level flight. Everybody breathe. Relatively steady there. Come on, it's like, I need to get you in steady flight and not chase the needle. While I check the map. Yeah, this is what I remember the long flights. Chasing chasing the needle on the right of climb descent. Just to try and keep everything in place. Maybe we just need a touch more power. Let's keep the engine revved up. Okay, so we're not that far out from the runway, and we're looking for CS, which is Club South. So we'll press B to cycle the beacons. Club South. 60 miles away. So this speed will take us about 20 minutes. So this would be the point to be very, very chatty with everybody on the stream. <laughs> or if we just had a way in the emulator to put our emulator to 200%, 200 speed... We do quite well. Let me just bring up the instructions in the other window that I have here. Ooh, what's that? That must be Lake Long. Maybe you can just see. Well, that's nice. We've got something to look at and bisecting the map as we go through. Okay, so I guess this is the bit where everybody will serve tea and coffee in the lounge. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Okay, so let us just... I can't remember the instructions just to say what club runway is like. Yeah, let's just chop back the power to keep an eye on the altitude. Aspects of flying, uh, flying on the spectrum, the instrument panel, got that bit. Pilot controls, got that bit, the map. We have a large international airport called Main, M-A-I-N, no, M-A-I-N-E, missed a trick there. Uh, it's a long, long way of over a mile in length. It's easy to land on a small plane. Club, however, is a small local airport and has a short runway of 800 yards. So, I might get down on it, but we might run out of space very, very quickly. <laughs> okay, right, well, we'll give it a go anyway. Okay, so, uh... So, we have our beacons, and we just... Uh, I'm gonna slide, let's just do a slight pitch up before we go talk on the map. There we go. So, so we've travelled about one square. We've got one, two, three more squares to go before we have to start thinking about our approach into club. So, what's going to happen is it's a, we could do a curving route, but we're not going to do that till we get on. So, I'm going to, on this one, fly pretty much straight end level to about here i just as we get past lake long um so when we have the oc directly to the, to the south of us then start doing curve to bring us onto a north bearing of zero degrees hopefully lined up close enough to club that we can see it 
to start our descent and when we start a curve we'll bring us down to about a thousand feet want to be about 700 feet here and then fly straight in so as you've seen in previous uh, flight sims that we've uh, an approach and landings here the approaches we've been about one two for three it has to be said uh, on these ones here we've got a little bit of buffeting turbulence I'm flying hands free anyway <laughs> so we might have a bit of turbulence and yeah well this is possibly a good time uh, just to uh, remind everybody uh, those of you who are, are lurking um, hello we are now on the incredibly exciting uh, Scion flight simulation as we head from the main international airport to attempt a perilous perilous landing on the short club runway which is about two-thirds of the length of about half actually it's only 800 yards so how many yards to the mile like oh i'm sure my yards to the mile it's about 1600 yards to the mill nope that's the wrong thing i'm searching for google let's try that again 800 yards is less than half a mile so we don't have we're gonna have to be pretty close uh to landing uh and getting it in there hello what ho snorkers uh this is your captain speaking yep <laughs> it, it is quite accurate uh talking about the speed i saw a streamer do it get bored increase emulation speed to times 20 then it goes crazy yes it would uh but you know what i'm going to enjoy this time um and speak look look where we're nearly two squares over um we've got everything in a nice stable flight um and you know you know does it take up a little bit of time here yeah will it be one of those videos that we can skip through yeah is it we suddenly realize that we can see club runway just off just off the nose over here yeah and we have our other lake down here so just to you can see that we've got lake long in sight and we've got club runway in sight so we're all uh, doing through there now uh previously to this if we if um, when you finished here you can go back onto the twitch uh, streams i've just and actually i I think I've posted it up on the YouTube channel now. Um, we did an actual circuit in the RAF Lightning, in Lightning Simulation. Now that took about 15 minutes from takeoff up, right round, and down again. Of course, being the jet, you've got to get about five, 10 miles out to do a long approach. Let me just double check that. Yeah, let me just put some links in here, shall we? Uh, da, da, da. YouTube channel is there. What ho? Uh, if you've uh, not picked up on that one yet um you'd find me on twitter so you've probably seen this link uh, probably be going through as well uh, but let's just uh, get the direct link to the english ba, ba, ba. it doesn't end pretty by the way um i know what i did wrong and i can fix it next time i do the flight um which i have done in the past but uh yeah we just yeah a lot of people <laughs> yes tiki it does everything right it just so happens that at the very end i just bring the nose up a little bit too high and it stalls in um it was like only like second or third go i've been a week and a half in the flight since now we're getting a little bit further in on that one right how are we doing basic check still level flight three just under three and a half thousand feet 995 knots uh we've got a bearing of 52 over to club south so uh perfectly fine let me just check the beacon over to oc oc of course is the uh, the lake that we're seeing 142 so that's 25 miles away it gives you an idea there because that's uh yeah 345 that's almost a square angle also you can change the beacon actually while you're on the uh, the maps as well just in case you weren't completely familiar with it but that said we've got it visually uh, popping up just now uh okay well while well, you're here let's we, we we can do big long q a um but i got a couple of uh i need to drop in a, a, a new game or two uh from the spectrum for review for the start of october um i i get the final decision because i'm playing but i am open to suggestions uh so um favorites old or or new as well there's there's plenty of new spectrum titles out there i think we really could be doing with one of the uh the new titles 
basic scan of the instruments. Yep, we're all looking good. Uh, you know, in the same way that we've had Mr. Do recently, we've had Dingles, who got the, the Speckies, which was a nice little puzzle game as well. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm open to stuff like that. You're not familiar with the new stuff? Neither am I. I'm trying to get through to that one. Um, um, oh, we did omelets for breakfast recently, and I do have a YouTube video bookmark of 100 recent Spectrum games. Um, so um, I shall have to head through in that one. Um, Project Stealth Fighter was excellent. You should have been along a couple of nights ago. The guy who programmed Project Stealth Fighter on the Specky was in the chat room. And once I worked that out, I was a little bit awestruck. Uh, <laughs> it was one of the other um, Lightning videos. Uh, and we talk about the challenges and everything. Uh, so, um, so at some point I have to do Project Stealth Fighter, but we're kind of loaded up on the same suit. Um, we've done the, um, we're nearly finished with the RAF Lightning stuff, um, but we've got some back-to-back -back sound flights into Lightning Sim. So we'll cool off in Stealth Fighter for a, um, for for a little bit uh, before we do that. And I, I personally, I think I want to revisit um, Operation Gunship. No, it's Operation Gunship. The Micropools Gunship Simulator on the H64 Apache. I think I want to revisit that one next. But So we're probably going to cool off on the Sims uh, throughout October. But Blood Witch, yeah, that sounds like a good call. And uh, let's see if it's actually available in the database. Blood Witch, 1990. There we go. Yep, found it. That's a stunning looking screen. Let's just do a basic five check. Yep, still flying okay. Uh, ah, it's not the one I thought it was. That looks very much like a maze based RPG. Ooh. Um, but quite late in the spectrum run, quite colorful as well. And two viewpoints. Why have you got two viewpoints? Ooh, there's a lot to look forward in there. Sword and Sorcery. Yep, um, things like Lord of Chaos. Um, there's also, I don't think we have an AI or computer AI on that one. Or maybe, no, it's Chaos that didn't have that. Chaos, the Battle of the Wizards. Uh, how are we doing? Bearing's 37. So we're still sneaking around with 31 miles away. So not ready to uh, do our final turn yet. One or two player. Thank you. Right. Budwitch, let me just add that onto, onto the list as we go, th go through. Uh, how are we doing anyway? Um, community wise building up. Uh, we got another uh, follower on Twitch. I think jumps me to jumps us. Jumps me, jumps us. Community. We're at seventy uh, on Twitch.tv slash Unisbet. So nicely happy with that one. The Sacred Armor of Anti Riot. That rings a bell. Anti Riot does 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 kick off in the background um 70 yep yeah, we're up to 70 and we started sort of mid-june seriously i know the channel says it started in december but i didn't really start paying proper attention to everything till i got back from eurovision um and the week before Le Mans. so early june um more importantly um for me youtube's up to 134 subscribers although we haven't had more any new subscribers since tuesday that's probably because i've not posted anything from a modern game that people remember Post up videos of Dizzy, yay! Lots of people post up weird stuff like a lightning simulator. Um, people go, oh, doesn't attract new people in, but it keeps people already subscribed interested in that one. So there's a sort of balancing point of stuff I remember and it was getting on with great and go on. The Facebook community uh, is it's building up nicely. We're over 400, we're 423 are following facebook.com slash retro ZX spectrum. Uh, if you've not made it over there yet, um, Headphones keep cutting out on this one for some reason. I hope they're not. Maybe it's just because they're not getting an incoming incoming volume signal. Because there's no sound here. Okay, our bearings 24 and 27 miles. We might want to start thinking about shallow curves soon. Uh, yeah. We're going to put in facebook.com. Facebook. Can't spell properly. Possibly starting a stream while everybody in the UK is watching Strictly might not be a good idea. Okay, next weekend, wait till after Strictly is finished. <laughs> uh, right then, okay. Um, so, uh, look, basic basic nav skills here. Um, we want to be 
on a bearing of zero for CS and CN, and then we will be on relatively close to the center line um, of our club runway. Uh, what we might actually want to do is actually just start descending and trimming the power back a little bit so we get us to a thousand feet as we're onto that final approach. So let's just chop the power back. Advanced tactical fighter was a bit airplane, a bit more RKD. Yes. Um, somebody else put that put in conversation. Um, I think I was speaking to somebody else who was doing a, on Facebook, who was doing a collection of uh, Spectrum flight sims and didn't recognize RAF Lightning sim. Uh, oh, bearing 11. Let's just uh, start swinging us around a little bit. I'll take us to... Uh, Let's take us up to our, our course of 030, just to reduce the closing angle just a little bit. We're at 1,000 feet. Wow, we lost a lot of height there, didn't we? Okay. All right. Let's just get us back into stable. There, we got the, the pixel just poking up over the horizon that I assume is going to be club. Okay, we want to start slowing the aircraft down now as well. So, it's just... Oh, we don't have trim or anything on here. Can never get past the flight some part of Infiltrator. An ace of aces. I mean, this is one of the things I do... I have enjoyed coming back to the Spectrum scene. Is this sheer number of games there are. I mean, I know intrinsically, it's, you know, it, it's over 10,000 and it's... You know, you can get the full collection on half a CD. But that's what 10,000 games is a lot. And everybody's got old favourites and everything. So, oh, that's great. Let's just bring this power right down. Cross bearing of 5, so let's just take ourselves to 15. That's 4, so we're doing a nice gentle curve approach. Okay, 10, 11 degrees, that's fine. Let's just kick the rudder bar just a little bit. A little bit of a cross angle, not too much. 1,500 feet. Relatively comfortable at that. Let's just start bringing the flaps down. We'll increase the lift and increase the drag, so let's just watch that on the controls. lots of types in as well if you have a look back through my youtube channel um i say youtube channel um all of the uh, videos are also are, are from the twitch clips and highlights but go to youtube i like going you know head to youtube uh, and, and search for a title called line uh, which was uh, from a challenge where you had to program a spectrum game in one line of basic that only took up one screen i.e just 32 by 22 characters that you had to type in um which is um, there's there's he's got it all in one line and one screen but he's also done a, a a longer version so it's like a type in if you wanted to see it right okay so we're now under a thousand feet so let's just hold us up level on this one let's get the gear down as well so we are in landing configuration thank you very much even though we are, according to this, still a fair distance away. Added to the watch later. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. We're just slowly building up the community one, one, one like, one click at a time. And I did say, uh, for those of you, I, I know there's a fair amount of you lurking as always. Lurk away. I love having lurkers. Um, so it's, it's good to see you all. Yeah, and you all feel free to chat, and you all feel free to backseat drive as well. Or, or, or in this one, I guess it's it's right hand seat drive as well. But there we go. Uh, I did see when we get over four hundred, I was going to start writing on the community page on Facebook what we're going to do in terms of Patreon and stuff. I've not written that yet. Um, that is going to happen with with a view to doing some stuff uh, on Patreon when I get over the five hundred Facebook followers mark. 
uh, Facebook likes because more people are following than liking. Uh, so uh, being conservative, I have taken the smaller number. But for those who would like the larger number, keep an eye on the instruments, uh, 425 likes, 452 follows on the Facebook channel. Okay, so we're keeping us around about a thousand feet. That's fine. We are going a little bit slow for my liking. Probably speed up when we stick the nose down into the final approach, but let's just put another notch or two in the power for the kids. Are you feeling excited, everybody who's watching? This is what passed for hair raising knuckle death defying fright because we still have the can i actually get this thing landed i haven't landed at club since 1985 would that be fair maybe um flight simulation i know i've been to club at least once since i had my spectrum i haven't been to to club on this emulator on this channel so Oh, half a while it might it, you know it might be tight we're just gonna have to follow the instruments down and hope we can get there not really getting the cross angle let's kick this rudder over a little bit more so we can get some get us over there we go Don't really want to do a steep turn in near the end, so let's just battle this. I'm pretty sure a club's got ILS. I'm going to be, it's going to be really awkward um, if we don't have ILS, but uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will on the instruction. It just says that it's smaller. There it is there. I might struggle to actually, if I was actually to have to eyeball this one in just with the slow reaction speed. But there we go. Landing somewhere in the big bluegrass country. Yeah. Well, we've left Maine now. We're now into bluegrass. Um, dark bluegrass. We need to land in a little bit of light bluegrass. Where are we? 1,400 feet up. Let's chop the power back slightly. Just flipping over to one and a half, two degrees. So we're nearly, nearly on our approach. So we'll keep us in this attitude here, dropping down. Runway is, yep. There it is there. Bearing a 12. We'll be intercepting the theoretical localizer very, very soon. There we are. Bearing points over to zero. So we'll just do a shallow, shallow turn. And there's that classic bug where it goes 359, 360, zero on the bearing. Oh, how I've missed you, Flight Sim. Ira. Anyway, let's just settle. Am I going to stay at 360? Oh, I... Who knows what that's going to do to the right. Gear is down, flaps down. We're 18 knots. Put a little bit there. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, that one sneaked through. Okay, so we are six miles from the beacon. It's just ticked over there. So it's effectively seven. So we're eight miles out from club. It is in front of us. Okay. Bearing 359 for the beacon. I'm flying 356. Yeah, it's not wonderful, is it? There we go. Right. Let's just settle into zero, zero. 
and there it thinks it's over there okay but that just could be pixel drawing mistakes Keep an eye on the numbers. Extra bit of power. Try not to store it in this time. An ouch indeed. What ho, an ouch indeed. Yeah, we're just slowly sneaking down the speed. Right, okay. Club South, Club North. There we are. Club North 360, my bearing 360. Ha <laughs> ha! I've lined up the incorrect maths. And now I'm the other side. <laughs> now the azimuth is out the other way. Brilliant! Thanks, one way. Thanks indeed. Dodgy maths for the win. Thing is, I also I actually know who just did, did the maths for this one as well. I can have sure I've got Charles's email kicking around somewhere so I might just ask him how to fix it oh that sluggish controls there blame the tools yeah this was the thing that always reminded me about sign flying to me it you just ended up chasing the controls around Um, uh, curiously enough, I remember the first time that I actually got up in one of the smaller Cessnas, which is similar to the light aircraft used here, and not the uh, RAF chipmunk that all the air cadets used to fly in. Um, but flying, flying the high wing Cessnas, they were as sluggish as this. This is actually, you, you've got to think ahead of the aircraft. So, in that sense, it's it's quite a good simulation. But at the same time, you know, if you hold the stick back, it takes so long to come through. There's so much maths going on. Yeah, that we've ballooned up again. Well above the glide slope. Two miles out. You know, it's responsive in one, but not responsive in the other. Yeah. Yuck. Let's just go with yuck. But anyway, there we go. We've got club runway now. We're coming in slightly fast. We don't have the approach lights that you'd normally have at the main airport. But given the graphics are saying... I've got a straight edge on the left side of the runway. I wonder if it's wide enough that you're going to let me in there. Let's find out. And we're down! I had a, I had a comms failure right as we touched down, so you couldn't hear me go, Yay! Kick the runner, kick the runner to swing us in. But there we go. That was a smooth touchdown. Uh, and for those of you watching this bit afterwards, the 27 missed approaches got edited out of the middle. Actually, no, there was one crash, um, which I might put up as a, as, as a little extra bit at the end of that. Fuel tanks have been filled. Um, well, first of all, Yay! That was a landing I'm going to have to watch back on on Twitch in the video just to find out. But there we go, sign flight sim uh, from Maine uh, right across past the two lakes, uh, curved in, approached into club, um, dodgy math compasses aside, made it, landed, pulled back. I mean, that was basically in pitch back, quite quite a severe flare down landing slightly off beam so kick the rudder to square us off uh, take us up north chop the power zero your fuel tanks have been filled do you want to run the program again or taxi for takeoff i think i'm just gonna go out and have a look around <laughs>
So there we are. It's Science Flight Simulation. Thanks very much for watching. You'll find me more at uh, facebook.com slash retrozxspectrum on the YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash you and spend to watch me live. Um, do 27 takes of the approach uh, and all the bits and pieces at the end. Thanks for watching.